The 912 is the smallest trencher in the Barreto fleet with a hydraulically lifted boom. The unlocking wheel hubs allow you to transport the machine without even turning on the engine. And the controls are simple with no complicated color codes, making it easy to use, especially for amateurs. That said, the 912HM will still trench up to 24 inches, making it comparable in utility to many larger trenchers while still smoothly maneuvering in all but the most compact spaces. The 912 is a perfect mid-sized option for those who want a balance between horsepower and agility. General Safety Instructions to use the 912HM, you must be over 18 years old, of sound body and mind, and familiar with the machine as taught to you by someone with experience. You must also read and understand all safety messages and instructions in the user's manual. Pay special attention to the safety decals fixed to the body of the trencher near specific hazard points. The 912 must always be operated in full compliance with all state, local, and national regulations, including OSHA regulations. Never operate the 912HM under the influence of alcohol, drugs, prescriptions that prohibit operation of machinery, or any other substances that impair your cognitive or physical ability. Also, never smoke or let anyone else smoke while operating or standing anywhere nearby. Always wear proper PPE while moving or operating the machine. This includes eye protection like safety glasses or a full face shield, earplugs, a hard hat, gloves, and boots. If you're working near traffic, wear reflective clothes. Never wear loose-fitting clothing, jewelry, or anything which could get caught and keep your head and facial hair pulled back while operating the machine. While moving or operating the trencher, stay clear of any moving parts. The trenching chain, wheels, and auger especially can cause serious injury and even death. Also, never touch hydraulic fluid while the machine is in operation. This fluid could burn or poison you. When operating, when operating, always stay clear of any debris flying from the trencher. Always operate the machine outdoors and avoid standing near or breathing in the engine exhaust and fumes. Also, avoid operating near flames, sparks, or flammable dust or vapors. If possible, keep a fire extinguisher capable of extinguishing petrol fires near you while you operate. Only operate when there's enough light, either natural or artificial, and allow for plenty of side and overhead clearance between the machine and buildings, fences, trees, and other obstacles. Never leave the trencher unattended while the engine runs. There's no place to stand on the 912HM, so never try. Also, never allow anybody else to stand or ride on the machine. Never lift the trencher over any person. If the trencher tips, that person could be crushed. The 912HM is designed for trenching in normal ground for depths of up to 24 inches. Frozen or hard-packed soil or soil with high clay content or larger stones should not be trenched. Third-party attachments can dangerously change the center of mass on this machine. Only use approved Barreto attachments on this machine. If possible, pick a worksite free from bystanders. If you cannot avoid having others on the worksite, keep all observers or coworkers at a safe distance from the machine. And use traffic flag personnel, signs, cones, and lighting devices to warn or divert traffic and pedestrians. Stop the machine immediately if anyone comes close. Always call 811 before you dig. If you don't, you may cause an accident, interruption of services, damage the environment, or even hurt someone. If after doing so, you still hit an underground utility or pipe, immediately move away from the damaged utility and call 911. Before you operate. Before you start the engine, look to make sure nothing is worn or damaged on the machine. Replace any worn or damaged parts and all bolts as well to maintain the trencher's balance points. Familiarize yourself with the controls. The freewheeling hubs are located on the side of the wheel. Disengaging one hub makes it much easier to turn the trencher when driving it. To unlock the hubs, pull out on the lock pin until the roll pin clears the slot, and then turn it 90 degrees. To lock the hubs again, turn the lock pin handle in to allow the pin to engage. There is an engine ignition switch on the control panel. It must be turned on for the engine to start. Also on the control panel is the engine throttle, which controls the engine speed. Always trench at full throttle. The clutch lever engages both the wheel drive and digging chain. 
If it isn't squeezed, neither will operate. This feature is for your protection. Never tape the clutch lever down or otherwise bypass it. Doing so could lead to serious harm or even death. The wheel drive controls the trencher's travel direction and speed. The digging boom control lever raises up and lowers down the boom for trenching and transport of the machine. The dig chain on-off lever activates the trenching chain. Once engaged, it will remain in the on position until the clutch lever is released. Before you trench, always check both the dig chain and clutch levers. When released, these functions should stop immediately. If they do not, turn off the trencher and do not operate. To clear debris from the chain, use the chain forward reverse lever to change the direction from normal to reverse. Transporting the machine. Barreto recommends transporting the 912HM using the Barreto 4x6 tilt bed trailer. Before towing, make sure that the towing vehicle is in legal operating condition and exceeds the recommended specifications for towing. The towing vehicle should have a 2-inch, 5cm ball mount, which is in good repair and securely fastened. It should also have trailer lights if required by local towing laws. Assemble and attach the trailer to your vehicle. For assembly instructions for your 4x6 tilt bed trailer, see your trailer's owner's manual. When attaching the trailer to the vehicle, cross the chains under the trailer tongue to prevent it from dropping to the ground if the trailer comes loose accidentally. Never leave enough slack for the chains to drag on the ground or leave too little so it's drawn too tight. To load the 912HM onto the trailer, make sure the wheel lock on the trailer is on and the wheel lock pin is pulled out and not in the way. Park the trailer and towing vehicle on level ground. Unlatch the tilt bed latch pin to tip up the trailer bed. Line up the trencher so that the dig chain is facing the rear of the trailer. If you haven't already, lift the digging chain up all the way and drive slowly onto the trailer bed. The weight of the trencher will balance the trailer out as you drive. Drive until the trailer is level and the front wheel is positioned inside the wheel lock. Secure the tire with the pin. Put the driver's side safety chain and quick link through the D-ring that is closest to it and then through the rear tie-down on the machine. Do the same thing with the passenger side safety chain and quick link as well. Throttle down and shut off the machine and make sure to close the fuel shutoff valve. As you tow, never go faster than 45 miles per hour and always obey all local traffic laws. Allow for extra clearance around your vehicle and stop after a few blocks to check your load and retighten the hitch to the ball if necessary. Operating the machine. When you arrive on site, always do a site assessment first. Look around for any conditions or obstructions that could hinder trenching or make operating the machine unsafe for anyone. If there's a source of sparks, flames, or unknown vapors nearby, do not operate. When your assessment is complete, lock the trencher's wheel hubs and start it up. For starting in cold weather conditions, consult your owner's manual. Engage the wheel drive lever. Push it up to move forward. Pull it back to move the trencher in reverse. Always travel slowly, especially if you're inexperienced. Position the trencher. Keep in mind that the trencher is designed to trench while moving in reverse. Avoid driving near drop-offs or embankments. Also, avoid driving or operating the trencher on a slope. You can drive and trench on up to a 20 degree slope. However, if the trencher is driven or parked on a slope of greater than 20 degrees, the machine will shut down automatically. Also, never drive too close to the side of a previous trench. The weight of the trencher could collapse the trench wall, flipping the machine. Once you're positioned and are ready to begin, put the wheel drive control in neutral. Stop and engage both wheel hubs if either was unlocked. Put the engine in full throttle. Hold the dig chain engage lever in the on position. Squeeze the clutch lever. Slowly lower the boom until the chain is at your desired depth. Put the wheel drive control in reverse and slowly start to trench. Adjust your speed to the soil conditions and terrain until you've got it right. If at any point rocks, roots, or other objects jam the chain, release the clutch lever, then reverse the chain to dislodge the debris. If the wheels have poor traction, the trencher may tilt back a bit when it starts to trench, pulling it toward the operator. If it does this, release the pressure and allow the trencher weight to plunge into the ground. However, be careful. Never plunge faster than the trencher can remove material from the ground. 
Never overload the engine. If the engine lugs down or the digging chain slows, release the wheel drive control until the engine speed recovers, then continue trenching. After the job. Once trenching is complete, move the trencher to level ground and park. Lower the boom onto the ground. Ensure that the dig chain engage lever is in neutral when you've parked. Reduce the throttle to idle. Close the fuel shutoff valve. If you don't, fuel could leak into the cylinder and crankcase. Damage from this is not covered under warranty. Let the machine cool entirely before performing maintenance, cleaning, or touching the engine, muffler, hydraulic lines, or hydraulic fluid. To clean the machine, wait until it's cool and then spray it down with water. Once you return to the shop, complete all other required cleaning, lubrication, and battery maintenance. Also, complete any required cleaning and maintenance on your Barreto 4x6 tilt bed trailer. For specifics on these tasks, consult your owner's manual. For more information, visit www.barettomfg.com.